It's like there is this this huge attack, right, on anything that's that that is held as traditional or kind of binding, right? Because that's one of the things. It's like tradition is seen as something binding, restricting somebody's freedom. And and the, the kind of the modern philosophical endeavor, including, and I, I want to use particularly uh, art as an example. I mean, the whole idea of, of kind of contemporary art or modern art is to detach itself from tradition, mm. right? In philosophy, you see the same thing with Descartes, right? Um, the self becomes a source of, of knowledge, of reason, um, and that is the guide of kind of modern man and certainly taken up in people like the popular culture that we've, we've been referencing, but I think in the larger world, because those ideas, as we, all, as we oftentimes talk about on all this podcast, have consequences in the world. They're not just kind of unembodied things existing. They actually have effects. And I don't know, Michael, if you would agree with something like that, too. I, you know, it's interesting you, you mentioned this here because you connected there art with philosophy yeah. and how there's a casting off of tradition here. That's the exact observation I made not too long ago when I went to an art gallery. I went to the place, you know, or the section yeah. that's kind of the Renaissance and medieval paintings and things like that. And there's all kinds of beauty there. Then you go to the modern area, <laughs> modern <laughs> art section, and it, it's a joke. There, there was yeah. just a, a, a circular ball laying in the corner in a couple <laughs> random uh, pictures on the wall that looks like something that a fifth grader did. And so I just, I, I thought to myself, this is interesting because in a society where we no longer believe in objective truth, in objective beauty, yeah. it makes sense that we wouldn't have objective beauty or truth in our artwork. Right. So. right. And, and also, not only that, it's, it's, it's also like, as I was uh, stating earlier, it doesn't seem to just be a neglect of tradition. It seems to be actually... Um, a proactive thing, right? It seems to be like we're trying to build our own tradition in the name of self, in the name of emotions, in the name of my own kind of uh, perception of the world, and trying to now impose it on a larger world. These kind of abstract art expressions being one of those kind of uh, you know expressions. It, it seems like something we've really been struggling with, especially since the '60s, right. um, in particular in the West. It's it's just mm -hmm. been one generation after another casting off what was handed down to them what i'm noticing is people are struggling with why preserve these traditions why preserve these things that maybe my parents passed on to me or my grandparents passed on to me people are saying well i just don't really see a need for believing this maybe this particular understanding of gender this particular understanding of conduct i just don't know why i should believe it just because my parents or grandparents believed it so they're casting off what was handed down to them because they kind of don't know why to to believe to it and hold to it to begin with and i think it is important for us to say especially max and i one of the reasons we wanted to have this conversation is like on a very basic level, on a merely human level, we need tradition if we're going to flourish as human beings because we did not create ourselves. I mean, think about it. If you didn't receive the language that you speak from your parents, you wouldn't even be able to operate or think at all in this world. So it's like, if you're going to flourish as a human being, it demands receptivity. It demands that you actually respect what has been handed on to you because your very life is a gift. Your very existence is a gift that you've received. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to uncritically accept everything that your superiors tell you you need to do. But it does mean that we should, I think we should have, I think we should try to re-inculcate in our culture uh, a disposition of reverence towards what we've received, a disposition of respect towards our traditions.